Hi everyone, in this Inkscape tutorial I'll be showing you how to do some glossy buttons like these up here that I drew earlier. So to do them, you start with a rectangle, so just click rectangle tool, let's drag one out there. And to get rounded edges, you just move these handles in the corner. Yeah, so something like that will do. And for the orange one, we want a linear gradient, so click linear gradient. And just move the gradient handle up to the top and bottom, just hold down control and you get it at a 90 degree angle. So for colour, well, is that light orange in the middle? I just want to take a copy of that, so control C, click on the other end of the gradient, control V, and we'll make it a bit darker. Something like that should do. Right, and for the stroke, I'm going to take the gradient again. Use the one we did earlier, so 3989. Except this time I want to make it, well, let's move the handle first. So it's about there to there, I think. The bottom will be a bit darker. And the top a bit, bit lighter. Can't really see that very well. Let's make the stroke a bit wider. So type in oh, three. I'll do. Okay, um, now we'll do the glossy part there. So that's an ellipse. Just go something like that size. And then go path, object path. So click the edit nodes tool and click on that node there, press delete, and hold down control, click these two handles. We'll turn stroke off, fill, or linear gradient, move the gradient, well, one handle to the top, and the other one to the bottom, again click control to get it to a 90 degree angle, and want something, oh, not end, click on the top, and nice light orange there. Uh, copy that. Control C, click on the other end, Control V. So I want the opacity right down on this end. Drag that up a bit more. Yeah, that's like that. That should do. Let's move that towards the top. And just increase the width of it there. Drag that down. Then we'll add some text. So use the text tool and type uh, orange. Choose a different colour. Purple. Put the pasty back up. Yeah, and there we are. Actually, the final effect is a drop shadow. So let's go to filters, shadows and glows, and it's drop shadow. Live preview, you can see where it is. Yep, happy with that. Click apply, and then close. That's the first button done. Right, next one, this green button. So let's start again with another rectangle. Drag that out. Something like that. Just click the green there, or we'll go slightly darker. This time, linear gradient. But we want to do a repeat here, so reflected. Move the gradient handle up to 90 degrees again. So a bit below the top this time. So there, and that one all the way. Uh, that's about the middle. And the colour for that, we'll take a darker green. Next we want another rounded rectangle at the top. A bit thinner this time. Not quite a way across, yeah, about there. Just move over. Over a bit. 
Now the effect we want is a radial gradient, gradient tool. We want the lighter green in the middle. And copy that and paste it in there. Turn the opacity right down on it. Perhaps not all the way to 0%, just a nice low number there. Yeah, and then press Ctrl D to get a duplicate of it. Drag the duplicate right down here. And this time I'm going to edit the radial gradient. Edit where the radial gradient is. I'm just zoom in on that. I'm going to get to the bottom. Like that. Yeah, that looks alright. Again, we put some text in here. I'll just put. Turn the pasty back up. It's annoying that it keeps getting stuck down like that. And the other effect I've done on this button is a bit of blurring all around the edges. Just click them and click up on blur, put us a blur one, and same there. Maybe even the font I did as well. And two, button one for that. And lastly, we get a drop shadow. That's filters, shadows, and glows. Drop shadow, hit apply, close, and there we are. And the last button, again, rounded rectangle. But this time, let's zoom in on that. Right, this time, press Ctrl D, hit duplicate, and path, objects path. And we just change the node, so click Node Tool. Now double click sort of in the middle of that corner, create a new node there, and delete the rest around the bottom here. Delete, delete, delete that one, and can leave that one behind. Now just move the handle to about there, and that shape creates a sort of S shape there, and lighten it up. And then reduce the opacity. I don't remember what I did now on that one. It's about halfway, I think. Then just click the shape, hold down Control and Shift, and drag it in slightly. Like that. Some text in here. Gelb. Mm. I could have increased the letter spacing on these, just make sure they fill up the button nicely. And make it a bit taller. Oops, that's not one. Shift. If that's the middle, increase the opacity. There we are. Well, I could send it below that transparent layer, so I press page down. And that's how you do some glossy buttons in Inkscape. So please, thumbs up, like the video, and subscribe. I'll see you later.